In the video, Redis Sets Explained, I showed you how to use Redis Sets to build a Who's Online feature for a multiplayer game. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the SRAM command, time scope keys, and key expiration to keep the set of online players up to date. Sets work great for a Who's Online feature, but we need a way to remove players from the online set when they exit the game. There are two cases we need to think about here. The easy one is when the player intentionally logs out. In this case, we can call the srem command, which removes a member from a set. This is how the game server would call srem to remove player42 from the online player's set. The trickier situation is when a player loses their network connection or rage quits by taking a sledgehammer to their computer. In this case, the game client will stop pinging the server, so there's no obvious event we can use to remove the player's ID from the online player's set. So, to ensure the ID eventually gets removed, we're going to use a common key expiration pattern that employs a sliding window of sets. Instead of using a single set to keep track of who's online, we'll be creating a new set every five minutes. So each set will be scoped to a particular five minute window. When a player comes online, we'll add their ID to the set for the current five minute window and to the set for the next five minute window. To display who's online, we'll always read from the set scoped to the current five minute window. What this means is that the current five minute window will only contain the IDs of players whose game client has pinged the server in the past five to 10 minutes. Since we're only using each set until its five minute window completes, we ensure that each set is expired and is deleted at that time. Okay, let's walk through an example of how this works in practice. Let's say player 42 comes online. The game server will add the ID 42 to the set for the current five minute window. The key for this set is time scoped to its window. To do that, we're using a naming convention of players colon online plus a colon plus the UTC hour and minute at which the window starts. The server also adds the ID 42 to the set for the next window. We add the player's ID to the set for the next window so that the next set isn't empty when we start reading from it. In other words, at 10.05, the game server will start using the 10.05 to 10.10 set to display who's online. And we want to make sure that, that set is populated when we cross time windows. Now, after we add the player's ID to each of these sets, we also run the expire at command, which sets an expiration time for the key. The time is given as a Unix timestamp. To check who's online, we'll use the sisMember command to read from the set for the current five minute window. Redis returns one, which means player42 is online. As I said at the start of this video, there are many ways to solve this problem. Our solution here has one caveat. If a game client crashes, the game might show the player being logged in for five to 10 minutes, depending on where we are in the window. On the flip side, players are visible from the moment they log in. This approach is also simple to build and doesn't require any external processes to remove player IDs from the online player sets. Other solutions have different trade-offs. Check back soon for another approach that uses sorted sets. Okay, we've just seen how to use the SRAM command, time scope keys and key expiration to keep the set of online players in a multiplayer game up to date. If you want to keep learning, check our YouTube channel for more videos. Thanks for watching and see you next time.